Retro Unboxing. Hello viewers, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you a little bit more of this uh, Mac Pro project that I've got going on. Um, picked it up a couple of weeks ago. You may well have seen my initial video. If you haven't, give it a watch. Um, it's going to be a bit of a series of videos. I've got lots of kind of upgrades and um, it's, it's like I say, project, bit of a build. And in this specific video, uh, it's mainly going to be about the graphics card. As you can see, it's still got the original HD 7270, 75, whatever it, uh, well, whatever it is, but it's the original HDD. So here you'll see I'm putting in an RX 580 manufactured by Sapphire. Uh, I picked this up for 100 English pounds, so this sort of takes the build to uh, about 300 quid. Uh, just sort of offering the card up here just to show and see that it, it definitely is going to fit. Um, just before I commence with the graphics card install, uh, I'm <laughs> I'm just going to show you, it's, it's, this is actually the first time I've opened the computer up since uh, picking it up and doing that initial video a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but look at the state. This is dusty as hell. Uh, look at that on the left hand side, it must just be sat near a, a, a sort of uh, air channel or whatever. Um, but I'm going to come back to this, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not cleaning this today. Uh, the other thing is, look at the size of that big meaty connector. I mean, obviously it's got to connect the um, motherboard, or the logic board, as you can see the um, the connector at the bottom of the uh, unit there is the, uh, the female side. Uh, it's got to connect two CPUs and like 74 sticks of RAM to the logic board, so... Uh, stands to reason that it's going to be a pretty big connector, but I've, I've never seen a connector that big in a in a computer. So uh, I'm not one for benchmarks in particular, but uh, I mean, there's no point upgrading a, a a graphics card without just sort of double checking that it was it was worth your while. Obviously, it was going to be worth my while. It's uh, an eight or um, maybe ten. Uh, yeah, newer graphics card is the RX 580. It's also got eight gigabytes of graphics RAM compared to the one gigabyte of the uh, the original uh, HD 7250, 5270, whatever the hell it was. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly benchmark the uh, the original uh, Radeon uh, HD. It'll tell you on the next next screen um, what the graphics card is so if you just bear with for just a moment there we go it was the HD 5770 uh, and, and to be honest it's actually performed reasonably you know you um, you, you can see it, it, it looks pretty smooth 25 FPS is not what you'd call great um, but you'd be able to run some games at 720 maybe uh, 1080p with some uh, lower settings but um, anyway that's that's out with the old and uh, and we're going to be in with the new very shortly so just shutting the computer down and then I shall unplug it and get cracking on I want to leave you with it for a moment and uh, and I'll be back with you when I've got anything important to tell you
honestly there's no real reason or need to uh, pull the our drive caddies out there but just gives you that little bit more room to work uh, you may notice on the back of my hand there are a bunch of scratches that is due to my cat Neville he, uh, he likes a little fight every now and again and uh, he scratched the shit out of my hand the other day and uh, it's actually now now I've come to uh, record the voiceover it's, it's those scratches are mostly gone, they're just a bit scabby. But uh, yes, that's Neville, my little bastard cat. This is a pretty decent sized fan. I don't think there's any real need to uh, to take this out during this process, but I kind of felt that it just, again, same with the hard drive caddies, just gave you that little bit more room to get your hand uh, in there and, and do what you need to do. I also just took the opportunity, as you can see, to just give it a bit of a bit of a clean and a wipe down. Um, Strangely, it looked like someone had spilt some tea on it, um, but th there wasn't really that much in the way of dust, uh, so that's that's good. Uh, and that fan actually sits at the front uh, of the of the Mac, uh, which is probably why it's got tea down it or something. Uh, at this point, I realised that you know, moron that I am, uh, you can see the. Uh, ironic look on my face that uh, I'd left the DVI uh, plug uh, plugged into the uh, into the graphics card like a tool. Uh, but yeah, this is the old graphics card coming out. Uh, it's, like I said, it's quite a, a decent enough uh, decent enough graphics card. Uh, I paid uh, hundred pounds for the uh, for the RX uh, five eighty, um, and honestly, I reckon I'll probably get about fifty quid for this old. Uh, for this old unit, so that is going on eBay shortly. Uh, just again, take the opportunity while I've got things out to just give everything a bit of a wipe down. It's not terrible, um, but you can see, uh, you can see on the cloth what has come off of there. It's, it's, it's. I've, I've seen worse. <laughs> Let's be honest. For a, an old, an old machine like this, there's, uh, there's a lot worse. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad bit of a dust around the logic board just to uh, try and kind of uh, bring off any uh, any any loose dust and uh, and then just a quick a quick blast with the uh, with the can there now this is the important bit so newer and sort of more power hungry graphics cards uh, do need well more more cableage and Specifically, uh, you need the uh, six-pin mini uh, for this graphics card, or well, for the motherboard. Uh, so you need two six-pin minis. There you go. Uh, to an eight-pin kind of normal-sized graphics card. So uh, they dead easy to find on Amazon. I, th I think well, the price was on there. I think it was seven seven quid somewhere or another. Um, but yeah, that's the exact cable that you need. I've, I've seen all sorts of, um, you know, adapters and cables into cables and that kind of stuff. But this is the um, the most uh, or the neatest uh, way of doing it. It's sort of just the right sort of length of cable as well. Now, what ideally I would probably do at some point is to just braid braid the cables just to kind of keep them all a little bit neater. Um, I'm not a massive chav or anything, but I'd also like to get some sort of uh, LED lighting, maybe just a white, um, just a white LED strip somewhere, just to uh, just to light up the inside of the um, of the case. Um, like I say, I'm not a chav. I'm not going like full on RGB fans and all that kind of stuff, but just just something. Now I did have a bit of a a bit of a um, a bit of a wrangle. 
getting the um, getting the graphics card seated properly and pushed into the um, PCI slot. Uh, but I managed it in the end. It's just just a case of uh, being being a little bit cautious. But you've you've got to give it a bit of a shove to get it into the slot because they are, uh, you know, they by nature they do sort of have a bit of a tight fit. So just putting the fan back in, and, uh, and I'll leave you to it for a moment. that's it the card is in I quite like how it sits on top of that kind of uh, the metal shroud that covers the uh, CPU and that because yeah, I mean it's touching so it's going to dissipate any any heat through the uh, through the body of the uh, computer as well now at this point you uh, well this is my second stupid uh, for the day I plug the computer back in I plug the HDMI cable into the monitor uh, you'll notice I'm now using a, a newer monitor rather than the old um, cinema monitor and uh, and then at this point I've just realized yeah, it, it's not turning on I'm, well it's turning on I'm getting the beep um, but ba basically I just completely forgot to put the hard drives back in so I'm turning the computer on and getting nothing so this time You'll see, I turn it on, you just see a bit of activity on the screen there to show that something's happening. Say no signal, no signal. So one downside of putting a, uh, a newer graphics card into one of these old machines is that you don't get the, um, uh, the, the boot. Um, the boot screen, uh, something to do with the, uh, the, the, basically the drivers aren't in the um, BIOS of the motherboard for a newer a newer graphics card you can flash the graphics card but i'm not going into that to be honest so there you'll see i'm quite pleased that it actually did work and it was just because i'm a moron and didn't put the bloody ssd boot drive back in the uh, back in the computer but there you go radeon rx 580 uh, with eight gigabytes of graphics ram so uh, yeah, we're up and running, and uh, it would seem rude at this stage not to do a benchmark. Now, kind of stupidly, again, you'll you'll sort of realise uh, that what I kind of did was run a different benchmark, which is sort of a little bit stupid. And in terms of, uh, well, that's my third stupid for one video, isn't it? Um, what uh, the whole point of doing a benchmark is that you, you run the same uh, scientific test, a scientific test, isn't it? So you run the same test and see what result you get. So uh, what you'll notice is I've, I've kind of upped the, um, the settings uh, I've gone from kind of medium settings to high settings. Uh, I've included um, uh, anti uh, aliasing um, settings. Uh, it's running at 1080 now rather than 1050 from the previous graphics card, and uh, and, and just generally kind of beefed up the, um, the the requirements for the card. But anyway, so you'll see from the benchmark that it, it runs it runs lovely. Uh, you can see just a bit of light on the bottom side of the screen there, but you can see it's it's running nicely at sort of 40, 40, early 40 frames per second. And that's kind of straight after install. So there's, you've seen it as it's happened. There's not been too much kind of messing around, no optimizing or uh, any kind of further... Uh, drivers or anything it's all just plugged in play um, 
like I say, no messing around. But yeah, uh, it looks pretty good. I'm really pleased with it. And uh, I think any real uh, meaningful benchmarks will come later on when I uh, dual boot with Windows and, uh, and and have a look at the sort of gaming performance, basically. But yeah, you'll see shortly. There's the results. Pretty good. 45 frames per second. Although one thing I've only just noticed as I've come to do this voiceover is if you look at the uh, GPU there, RX 580, it's only showing 256 megs of graphics RAM rather than the uh, 8 gig. Anyway, uh, that's kind of coming towards the end of this video now. Um, the next thing I'm going to concentrate on is storage. And because uh, you can see here, this is with the um, SSD. Um, it's it's pretty slow in terms of speed now after putting the uh, new graphics card in it's done a firmware upgrade so that in theory should alter some of the speeds so next video it's going to come over the next week or two as i say i'm going to be looking at storage uh, so it's going to be nvme uh, or uh, just general uh, sata uh, ssd see which works best but uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Retro Unboxing.